In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an LED blink using Embryo. I have an Arduino Nano plugged into a breadboard and a red LED connected with a resistor to pin 3. Start by creating a new project. I'll name this one Blink LED. The project starts with one agent and opens it for editing. The first thing I want to do is make a node that sends a value to the pin my LED is connected to. Using the right-click menu, I go to the Input-Output section and click Output. An output node could be one of three types, Analog, Digital, and Custom. I want to be able to change the brightness of the LED, so I'll use Analog. When this node is compiled, it uses the Arduino Analog Write function, which requires a PWM pin. The drop-down shows the available pins for the Arduino Nano, and I'll select pin 3. The last thing I have to do is change the maximum value for the transformation range. Numeric values in Embryo are all from 0 to 1, or sometimes negative 1 to 1, but the analog write function needs an integer value. To control an LED, this value needs to be from 0 to 255. Now I'm going to connect to the Arduino via the serial cable. I make sure that the Arduino model I'm using is right and that the COM port I'm plugged into is selected. I click on the little connection icon and a small program is compiled and uploaded to the Arduino, which interacts with Embryo during design time. After 10 seconds or so, when the program finishes uploading, I can control the brightness of the LED on pin 3 by dragging the activation value of its node. Next, I add a switch from the flow control menu. The switch represents two states, on and off. If I press the turn on trigger, the output activation is set to 1, and the turned on and toggled output triggers fire. If I press the turn off trigger, the switch turns off, and the values are set appropriately. The toggle trigger switches between the two states. If I drag the activation output to the LED input activation, the switch now turns the LED on and off. To make the LED blink, I'm now going to add a timer node. Clicking on its trigger starts the timer, which in this case lasts for one second. Notice the started and finished output triggers fire when the timer starts and finishes. If I drag the finished output to the trigger input, the timer repeats. I connect the timer to the switch toggle and the LED now blinks. If I want to adjust the speed of the blink, I can change the duration input of the timer. To finish the project, I'll connect a startup trigger to the timer so that the blinking starts when the Arduino is turned on. Now that the project is finished, I click on the Compile button and the final program is compiled and uploaded to the Arduino. Once the upload is complete, I can unplug the serial connection and run the Arduino with a battery.